Hey guys, welcome to my survival channel for Rainbow Craft. This is my first surviving video. In every Rainbow Craft surviving video, I will choose a random map and terrain to challenge with. It could be a cliff, a desert, rainforest, or tundra. Today, I will choose a map full of hills and cliffs. For the next two days, my road and plan is to move southwards to the cliff. After several moments, I will climb up the steep cliff and went to the villagers' house on top of the mountain. The first thing they want to do is when we are trying to survive in the wild of Ravencraft is to find a tree. Any type of tree is okay. A tree is really important for survivors. It's a really basic stuff you have to do. You can easily find a tree in any environment, except in a desert or open sea. A tree is really helpful because you can use it to build up a shelter, set a fire, or make some weapons to protect you or something. In today's time, after you've know, gotten enough wood, the second thing you do is to build a wood bench. A wood bench will help you unlock more useful tools and achievements. And everybody who plays Rampart is supposed to know how to build it. Because it's the one of the easiest thing to build. After I make my own wood bench, what I'm going to do now is to make my weapons and ladder. Ladder will be helpful later when I climb the cliff. For a swath, later I can protect myself from enemies and help me help me for food. Okay, now I can use wood. Oh, it's so pumpkin over there. Pumpkin needs to make pumpkin pie or lantern to give you energy and light quickly. I might be able to use the tree now. I don't know what's my time. A tree is really easy to find in grassland. For the land and food pie and lantern, you can reach in the wall. However, you can also use the cedar to cut the sheep wall. But for now, I don't have enough iron to make a cedar. So the sheep has to sacrifice itself. For surviving rainfall, the biggest problem you have to face is to take the water to that fly. The rainfall's monsters are so good to you. If you want to protect me, you can stay alive from those monsters. I will still seek for a world to make that. You can also consider that have different colors. But this type of colorful shoes are extremely rare in many parts. So if you want to be safe in the time, I will suggest you to do it. After many of hunting and making, I got enough wood to make a bed. And if you want more big, this is for protein, which will give them your hunger level quickly. Now what I'm going to do is to decide where we should put our shelter. It's not a good idea to put a shelter near any cave because most of the ice monster is formed in the cave. I really want to build a small house with wood. The time is precious and we should be changed with material. So I decided that for today and make a hand map. It's easy to build. It took about one to two minutes to set everything up high enough from the ground and it's really comfortable to sleep on. I actually fall from the hammock when I was defending against the zombies. I was now being chased by a zombie. The best way to use it is not being chased by a zombie. It could be a bunker, but it is only used for emergencies. I know she does usually use a bunker when I'm in a wire. In a dark bunker, I often do it by killing earlier so I'm hungry now and wait for a sound to come out. The bunker is really dark and scary, making me lonely and creepy. Okay, the sun is finally out and it's morning. I wait for the whole night with zombies who are sitting on top of my small bunker. I found some carrion that the zombies dropped last night. The carrion is green, a man I ran before. And the color, I believe, is poisonous. It is probably not a good idea to have a 
Hamid for a long time. It is in the Hamid that is now very useless after I survived the night. I got a more trees to wood, to leather, and to climb up the cliff. Climb up the cliff for a man who is harder than a dog. Most of the cliff is the one we are climbing up today. It's a little bit of a away from the ground. Most of the cliff is steep. And for sure, it has a lot of fun climbing. We also have a high risk of falling to death if we are not careful when we climb. Facing leather shortage. The need of leather to climb up the cliff is much, much higher than I expect. I was all of my leather and we still got halfway to go. It's really challenging for me to climb up the cliff if I use any leather. So I decided to use my climb, going up on the cliff, and then I will go back to the ground again, cutting down and gathering more trees and use the leather. I believe that climbing this cliff will cost me a huge amount of leather and wood. Okay, I cut some more trees from the ground. It took me another half a day just to gather enough material for leather. Then to have some sort of climbing skills and observation, we climb up on top of cliff and mountain and aircraft. We could also use a bottle of water when we climb up to the cliff because we have a natural problem. If you need an arrow and you have to find a lake or ocean nearby you, it's hard to say if you can help you feel bad or not. And it will be horrible if you accidentally fall, because it's quick to fall from a cliff, but it takes a lot of time to climb up again. Finally, we climbed up to the cliff. It took a whole day for me to climb up and down. Not a sky is enough, but crazy enough when I was climbing up the cliff. The sky looks like it's about 10 p.m. in the evening. I don't miss the time to get to the largest part. I climbed up the cliff with better and I get past with the creeper. Then I run home to the house and sit to go out as a wife. I use the dust that I gather and use it to make a wall. Thanks for watching the this Remicon Survival video. For next video, I'll try to survive in a desert. Bye.